guys, today we're visiting one of the best new pizza places in New York City that we heard is well worth the trip for a slice or a square. Let's go check it out. Oh, wow. So in that little square of a square. It's amazing. Here, I'll get a wide shot. If you are unfamiliar with Queens and its street food options, Sunnyside is just a 15 minute ride on the 7 train from Grand Central Terminal. Philomena's Artisan Pizza was founded in December 2018 by Dave Acasella, who can be found every day behind the counter making pizza. He named this shop for one of his twin daughters and chose Sunnyside because he lives in the neighborhood and wants to be close to his family. Dave makes around seven different types of square pizzas, including a Yukon potato square topped with oregano, salt, and olive oil, which was inspired by a grilled potato pie his mother used to make. Not obviously you're gonna bake a round one, right? Yeah. And what's this one gonna be? This is gonna be a nice classic uh, uh, pie. Dave also makes an amazing round pie that he created so that he could have slices to sell in between working on his squares. Dave fell in love with square pizza while visiting Italy. And although he has a background working at prestigious Italian restaurants and making Neapolitan pizzas, opening his own shop was a pizza dream come true. So what I do is um, I, I use this natural uh, yeast. Just happens to have right here. I was gonna, if, I, if I had a chance. That's my today. so that's very active. It's very vivacious. It's well, I see bubbly. it's bubbling, yeah. so it's doing its thing, right? It's doing its thing, yeah. Wow. So this is um, this is what I use for the, the round pies. And okay. For the, uh, the square pies, I use a, a bigger, which is um, it's a pre-fermentation that, that I don't have right now, but I'm going to be making it in a short while. But I, I like to have a fermentation as, as the key to a digestive tract. Right. Because you don't want it to sit in your stomach. I, I worked at a pizzeria one time where they made a family meal, and I had one slice at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the evening. 12 hours later, I could feel the whole, like, it just wouldn't go down. And so... And the bloat. Yeah, the bloating. And, uh, so it's important for me to make a good quality <laughs> product. That you can digest. Then we can eat more. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's right, see. Mm. What's that? Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's no it's, rapid rise yeast. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. It's almost floral, like honey yeah. and, and flowers. It does. It smells beautiful. It is so incredible to learn about the natural yeast or starter, Levito Madre, aka Mother Yeast, which adds a delicious and complex flavor to the crust and also makes it easy to digest. So yeah, so that's the square dough, and that's um. Uh, 90% hydration, so it's very light and airy. So mm. all of the dough, it kind of just bakes out all, all the moisture, so that's how it becomes nice and light and airy. And with a nice crispness to the bottom, too. Right, right. No, I can taste that. Dave uses Alta Cucina tomatoes for the sauce and Grande whole milk low, low moisture mozzarella in addition to the starter that he's been nourishing for over seven years and ferments for 72 hours. And in it goes. Amazing. Although the classic round pie looks so amazing, we're gonna try his famous classic square, which put the pizzeria on the map as one of the best New York pizza places. Look at that. Oh, my God. The smoke coming right out. All right, yeah, I gotta get that, right? <laughs> Should I tilt it down a little? Oh, sure, yeah, why not? Let's be. Ooh. So, this is just your. Do you, do you have anything underneath or just the classic cheese? It's just the classic cheese. All right. Here I am. Oh, 
Can wait till I open this guy up. You can see the nice crumb that I have. See you later. Gio, and maybe I'll see you tonight. Yes. If I'm lucky. Yes, I'll be working tonight. So I'm going to open one up so you can see the inside. Okay, I'm awesome. not very photogenic, but my pizza is. It's true. <laughs> All right. Oh, I like how you use the snips. Yeah, you know, because I use those trays and they, um, I can't cut fully on the edges, so I use the, the grandma scissors. This piece, this piece, this is nice, nice water stuff. Oh, not wow. Really, not, a much, not, not a lot of crumb, but it still looks pretty good. Look how airy it, it, yeah. the crust is. And the cheese oh. pull on that guy. Ain't bad. We're getting close up and personal, we can <laughs> say. <laughs> I was getting a full health inspection over here. <laughs> Is this your most popular? Your yeah, classic yeah. cheese square? Yeah, just the square is, is, is the most popular. The classic one that I'm just about to make, that's just, it's taken off. And I just took off like crazy. That's it. That's it. The rest is history. Yeah. So we're here at Philomena's, and I was handed this gorgeous slice, just a classic cheese square. We're gonna give it a try. We already highlighted how it looks, so let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh my god, I know it swells all over me, which is not a bad thing. I'm gonna do a quick review. The tanginess, it's like the sauce, it's not too sweet, but it's not salty. Not too salty. You can take, I mean, obviously, it probably has a little bit of salt. But the perfect tininess, right amount, I would say, of cheese and sauce ratio, not one overwhelming the other. And the crust, beautiful, airy, all in all, extra good. We highly recommend making the trip out to Sunnyside to try both the square pizza by the slice or their round pies. It's five star extra good street food extraordinaire. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and give it a thumbs up and share our video if you liked it. You may also enjoy watching some of our other videos highlighting the best New York pizza places. Bye guys. Bye guys. That's amore. Move. <laughs>